Hello everybody and welcome back to another ARC video. This one's going to be on some tips and tricks that you might not know. This first one is that if your inventory is filled with items and you can't move, you want to move them, you can just drop them on the floor like that. And then walk forwards and then press the pick up, pick up all button like that. And you might miss some, but whatever. And then you basically just keep doing that until you get to where you want to go. Obviously this isn't going to work at really far dif distances, but if you're only going like a few feet, then it probably be a good idea. This one's also to do play is that if you have tech leggings on and you're overweight, you can just hold the super speed button and you walk at a normal speed even though you're overweight. So that is another way to go and move while you're overweight. This next command is being able to see death worms when they're in the ground. So basically what you're going to want to do is hold the pad, I guess, if you're on um, PlayStation. I don't know what the other buttons are for other consoles. Okay, I gotta kill these birds real quick. And then you just go into orbit camera, and you look down, and you can see that there's a death worm right there. And I can just head over to where that is. Probably not a good idea to do an old flip, but whatever. go in the ground and then just walk up to them or if you're on a dyno they can go up on that this next one is one of the otter so basically the otter is the only creature that can hold more than one artifact so right now I have an artifact in my inventory which means I can't have another one of that same artifact so I just do that and then I got another one and then I could put that in his inventory as well. So now he's got two artifacts in his inventory. There's no other dino in the game that can hold more than one artifact. So if you're ever trying to farm up a bunch of artifacts, then you should probably bring an otter because, yeah. This next one is basically, so I don't really have a great example here, but there's like a pathway that you can't bring your big dinosaur in. So if you want to bring it in, you just put it in a cryopod and then come in. And if the thing is bigger than the entrance, you can throw it out. And you see, I got a reaper in here, which normally you can fit one in here. So now I can use my reaper in this cave. Well, obviously, I can't get it through there, but I just put it in the cryopod. But, yeah, you can use this for other caves and stuff like that. And then it'll, that'll make it a lot easier to do some caves. Okay, so this next tip is that you can use a Fiomia, which is like this pig thing, and then feed it stem berries, and that will make it poop a bunch. Which might seem pretty useless, but... You can use the poop as fertilizer in your greenhouse, and so, or you can put it in a compost bin and make it into fertilizer. So that is a really good use for these pig things. Otherwise, they wouldn't really be that useful. Okay, this next one is with the Giga statue. So basically, if you have a taxidermy, if you're able to get a taxidermy base, and you have a Giga that you have tamed, or if you just kill a wild one, then you could put it on there. And then if you have the bionic skin for the giga which i have a video on how to get that or which is defeating the center bosses and then you just put that in and then it makes it as you can probably see a full size giga even though nothing is there so it's just a fake giga so you can use this in like pvp or something to kind of just like bait somebody making them think that there's a giga when really there's not Okay, so this next one is a bit cruel, but if you have your breeding settings turned up to where the eggs hatch fast, and you can actually get a bunch of eggs really quickly, then you can use the baby T-Rexes to level up your dinosaurs. So basically, you just eat them up, and then that will give you some XP. This one's already leveled up a bunch, but it'll give you the same amount of XP as a normal, fully grown-up one would. And all of these are level like 150, so you end up getting a ton of XP. Like, if you have a non-level up T-Rex, then it will probably give it, like, 30 or 40 levels. Okay, well, that's all the tips and tricks I have for this video, so, uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, then subscribe, and bye.